Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel, to all my videos, to all of my INFJ diatribes. I hope that you guys enjoy them and learn from them and are able to better yourself because of them perhaps. In this video I wanted to speak to you guys about how as an INFJ we're in a constant state of self-renewal. Uh, what does that mean? Basically, if you're an INFJ, you're constantly trying to better yourself, constantly trying to learn about yourself, constantly trying to change yourself, constantly trying to figure out if parts of you are good or bad and if you should keep them or not, if you should change them or you should kind of mold them to something different. So you're constantly changing as a human being. Now you might say, everyone's doing that. Well, I, I would beg to differ about that I, because I, I know a lot of people, I'm surrounded by a lot of people, and, you know, I will see them year after year and year after year, and they're exactly the same. Well, in a lot of different ways, they're exactly the same, right? They might change the way they dress, they might change their hairstyle, but inside, like, the, their heart and their spirit is exactly the same. They do exactly the same things, they are in the exact same job, they think exactly the same way, right? I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Actually, it might actually be a good thing because, you know, you're able to stay in a state of homeostasis and... You don't have to ever worry about, you know, oh, people are going to hate me or they're not going to like who, who I've become and things like that. Whereas for us, we're constantly changing and so we're always constantly dealing with the fact that people are like, you've changed. I don't like the way you've become, you know. I constantly have to hear that. You know, you've changed. You're not the same person anymore. And so it's hard because you're like, well, yeah, I mean, come on. I don't want to stay the same that I was. I mean, I don't want to stay the same person as I was even a month ago, even a week ago, you know, I'm always, I always constantly want to be, I always want to be learning, also growing, and constantly changing myself. But that's actually one of the things which, I mean, I was younger, was put forward to me as one of my faults, because I'm always changing my mind, I'm always changing the way I look at the world, I'm constantly changing the way I want to do things in the world, and people are like, you're so fickle, you're always changing, right? As I get older, I realize it's actually one of our qualities and we shouldn't hate ourselves for it. But in the past, when I was younger, I used to hate myself for it because I thought I was doing something wrong. You know, I shouldn't be changing all the time. One of the things I want you guys to realize is that when we are changing, we're not doing it because we are, we're doing it because we want to like um, annoy someone, obviously not. Or we're not doing it because we, we are lazy or, you know, we, we don't want to commit to something. It's not because of that. It's because what happens with us is that we're constantly getting new data into us, right? So we're constantly looking around the world, constantly reading, constantly learning, constantly talking to people, constantly getting new data coming into us, right? Constantly. Like it's just, it's a constant inflow, our infl inflow of information, right? And so we're constantly ca cataloging it and then we're figuring out, okay, how does this work with my worldview right now? So for example, if I'm looking at the world and suddenly I realize that um, pink umbrellas are the best thing on the planet. I don't know why I said that, but that's okay. Um, and so before that, maybe I thought that black umbrellas were really, 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 really great and they're the best thing on the planet and that's the only thing that you should ever use. But then new information comes in that says pink umbrellas are better, much better, a billion times better. Right? And so what we do as soon as we get new information is that we're not stuck to our old ways of thinking. We are very flexible, we're very adaptable. So we're like, okay, cool, black umbrellas out, pink umbrellas in. Right? And so we'll get that information and it will kind of change our opinions on everything and we'll, we'll mold ourselves to the new information and we'll go forth into the world thinking, okay, this is the new information, this is how I'm going to look at the world. No more black umbrellas, only pink umbrellas, right? What happens with other people is that they get attached to their black umbrellas. They're like, whoa, I love black umbrellas. No, I don't want to get a pink umbrella. I want to keep it forever and ever and ever and ever. And so for them, they get stuck in that mode. I don't know why I came up with this example. But they get stuck in that mode of black umbrellas and they never want to give it up, right? They just want to keep it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Even though the entire world is telling them, switch over to pink umbrellas, they're better, seriously, do it. Even then, they're like, no, I'm not going to do it. Those are the kind of people that you see, you know, working in jobs that are completely outdated and they're going to lose their job soon because, you know, technology is going to take it over and they're going to cry about it after because like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened to me. How did this happen? The world is moving on. The world is changing. How are you still stuck in, the out in outdated ways? Like, how are you st still stuck in the newspaper age when everything is online now? You know, like that kind of stuff. So those are the kind of people who don't adapt to them, to the world. Whereas for us, as soon as there's new information, we'll instantaneously be like, oh, you're cool cool, let's do it, let's kind of get along with it and let me go forward with it, right? 
Um, and this is one of the reasons why I, I get a lot of flack from people because they're always like, well, you're always changing your mind. And I think to myself, yeah, because I got new information about what I was doing before. And so what I was doing be before was wrong or was outdated in some way or is not the way to do things anymore. I have new technology and information. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to stay stuck in the dark ages. Like, I, it's just not the way to do it, for God's sake. Um... So now I actually don't share any of my ideas or stories or, or business stuff that I'm doing with anyone. Like, I really don't share it because when I do share it, people only have negative things to say about it. Well, what about that? Why didn't you do it this way? You were thinking about doing it. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all that bullshit. I really don't want to hear because you're not going to listen to all of the different things that I've gone through in order to make this decision. So why should I even bother? Why should I share all this stuff with you? So I don't. I don't because I don't want to hear your opinions on it. I don't want to hear your crap on it. Maybe you know something more about it than I do. I don't want to hear it. I would rather do my own research, figure it out, and figure out what I'm going to do in my own space, in my own way, rather than relying upon other people. Because then I, I really I really don't want to share and hear you guys talk about all this stuff where you're like, well, you have no idea what you're talking about. You're always changing your mind. Last year you wanted to do this. This year you're doing this. Last year Chiang Mai was the best place in the world for you. This year you're, you're here in Copenhagen. Like, and next year where are you going to be? Where are you going to be? And I'm like, None of your freaking business, okay? I'm making all these decisions based on hundreds and millions of bits of information that you have no one, not even a clue about. So don't even judge me for what decisions I'm making because you have no freaking idea. And just get away from me, crazy person kind of thing, right? And so I don't share with people anymore. And again, that also causes strife because they're like, well, you never tell me anything that's going on with you. I'm like, oh God. So if I do share, it's a problem. If I don't share, it's a problem. So you know what? I just I give up on the whole situation kind of thing. The main reason I wanted to share this with you guys is because I know a lot of you have messaged me saying, you know, that people tell you all the time that you're so fickle. You're always changing your mind. You're so... Instead of saying flexible or adaptable, they're using negative words to describe our character traits, right? And I've had that happen to many times where I'm very spontaneous. But people call me impulsive, you know? Like, it's a negative way of saying it because impulsive is bad. But spontaneous is great, right? Um, so you have to be careful about, first of all, I've, I've said this to you guys before several times, be careful about the source of the advice, the source of the conversation. Where, where is this coming from? Who is it that's telling you? Do they have an awesome life? Do they live an amazing life where everything's perfect? Or are they just kind of shooting from the hip? Does that make sense? They don't know what they're talking about. Like, do they actually know what they're talking about? Like, if they have really, really, really great finances, then they are allowed to give you advice on finances. But if they have a really, really, really shitty relationship, they're not allowed to give you advice on the relationship. So that's how I look at it. So I always look at the source of the advice. And if they're telling me bullshit stuff where I have researched it for hours on end, which I probably have because I'm an INFJ, and they just kind of read one article and are talking about it just after reading one article, then I am going to be like, thank you for the advice, but I'm not going to listen to what the hell you're saying because you have no idea what you're talking about, right? Now, sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about, like in terms of Bitcoins. I'm not an expert. I have no idea what it is really about. So if someone comes in, comes up to me and says, this is how it is, I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sure that's the way it is. I'm not interested in learning more about it. Uh, but if you tell me this is the way it is, then I will take you at face value because I have no idea. I'm not an expert in that way, right? So things do change depending on the, the, the stuff that we're dealing with. But for example, with meditation, I have meditated for eight years now. So if you're going to come to me and say, this is how meditation is, blah, blah, blah. If that's something that is kind of not jiving with the way I do my meditation practice, then I'm not going to listen to you because I have been meditating for a long time now. And I don't know how long you've been meditating for, but for me, my practice is my practice and I know what it's all about. Does that make sense? Actually, more than eight years now, ten years. Anyways, so... This this is weird. Time passes by so weirdly sometimes. Anyway, so that, I hope this makes sense to you guys. So please, please, please be careful about where this information is coming at. Do not let people push you around here and there and tell you all these horrible things about you or make you believe that you're a horrible person or make you believe that you're wrong in some way when they have no idea themselves what they're talking about. Okay, just be careful. You're not fickle. You're flexible. Okay? <laughs> Again, I hope this makes sense to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being on my channel. If you guys have any questions at all, um, you can message me anytime, obviously, in the comments below. But if you want to PM me, private message, then you can just email me. My email address is below. Or you can Facebook me. My private Facebook is Boom Shaka as well. Okay? All right? Again, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.